Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Hunter's Beauty. Uh, today I wanted to continue my Harry Potter series, um, so I decided I wanted to do Dumbledore. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and um, let's get right into it. Okay, so first we are going to go in the hairline area with Vaseline. Uh, the reason to do this is so you don't get any latex in your hair because if that happens you're gonna rip your hair out and it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get out so let's just go ahead and run this um, Vaseline all over our hair on the sides and even in our eyebrows Make sure you coat those eyebrows really well. You can also use glue, um, a craft glue stick for your eyebrows and even your hair. I am using Vaseline this time um, because I'm going to wipe it out of my eyebrows later um, so I can uh, do more of a white eyebrow for Dumbledore. I'm also going to put a little bit on my eyelashes. Anything you don't want it to stick to. Any hair. Okay guys, so now that we have our hair all um, in the safety zone, uh, we are going... Whoa. We're going to go in with latex. Um, I am using this latex uh, it's from Taylor Made. It's a local uh, theater store near me. Uh, we are gonna go in with just a sponge with this, and as we go in, to give the old age effect, I'm gonna stretch my skin, and I'm going to get that just a little bit, not a ton. I'm gonna get that on my sponge. I'm going to stretch my skin uh, with the direction I want the wrinkles to go in and I'm just going to spread that on there. This is dried out. Dang it. Okay, never mind guys. We're not going to go in with that latex. Uh, this is all dried out. <laughs> when I put it on, it's just like peeled right up. So, um, instead I'm going to use this, um, Monster Liquid Latex. Um, I just got this off of Amazon. Uh, it's really thin, it's pretty watery, but this actually might be better for this look. Um, because we're going for the more realistic skin, uh, wrinkly skin, so this actually might be better. Okay, pour. See how watery that is? Okay, we're gonna take a new sponge. I tried to get most of the residue off my face. There's still a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna dip that in and stretch your skin. Be careful not to get this on your clothes because it will not come out. I should not be wearing this shirt right now. really well with this method, but I didn't bring one in with me. It's hard to tell in the camera, but you can see a little bit of wrinkles. I just kind of want to get the skin texture of an old man. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. Ow. 
see how I kind of made my eye look a little saggier, wrinkly. <laughs> It's a real good look. I'm gonna go a little bit more on my eyelid. It's gonna hurt taking it off. I'm just gonna pull my eyelid down. Super comfortable. Okay, now I'm gonna go <laughs> under my eyes. This part's gonna suck. <laughs> Just wonderful. Next, I'm gonna go in with my translucent powder and a big brush. A brush that you don't really care for because you may end up getting latex on it and it will ruin your brushes if you get wet, like wet latex on your brushes. So don't do that. Um, just go over the latex with the powder. This helps it not to stick to itself like it did under my freaking eye. Okay, what I want to do next is go in with um, the beard. And what I'm using is, it's called crepe hair. It's just wool, like a wool braided hair. Uh, this is from Mehron. Um, I but I got it at my um, local theater store. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's braided in the package. Um, but I have already cut mine and semi straightened it. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna pull it apart and just stick it on where I want. So let's get started with that. Now I have a reference photo of Dumbledore right in front of me so I can see kind of how his beard lays and it's not going to be perfect. Um, but it's good to have a reference photo. Freaking what the fuck. So first I'm going to start with the mustache area. I'm going to take this hair and I'm just going to cut piece along there. So now we got this piece. I want to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to take my latex. Put it on that area I want the hair on. And then stick that hair on there. Guys, be prepared to have a heck of a time getting this crap off. Oh, shoot. 
freaking poured latex on the ground. This is a joke. I'm just gonna spread, spread the hair out. And I'm gonna take some of that apart. Okay, now that we have our beard on, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the eyebrows. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe off, I'm gonna wipe off that previous Vaseline. I'm gonna take my spoolie brush and I'm gonna take my Mehron uh, Cream Blend paint stick and I'm just gonna kind of glide that on there, get it coated, and then just kind of run through my eyebrows with that paint. And then I'm just kind of gonna mess my eyebrows up. Now I'm gonna go in with just a concealer. And I'm just gonna use that for my foundation. Going with the sponge. So what that concealer does, <clears throat> kind of just brings out the wrinkles that we made with our latex. Next on the agenda, is going in with, um, I'm just using my Benefits uh, Cheek Parade Palette. And I'm gonna use the bronzers in here. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make those deep wrinkle lines that Dumbledore has. I'm going to go in with a bigger brush and just do a bunch of shading. I'm 
Now I'm going to go in with a darker color and just go and deepen the wrinkles. I'm going to take a small brush, dab it in the concealer, and then go around the areas where we want it to pop a little more to make those wrinkles pop. I'm going to go in with a little bit of that white paint that I used. Now I'm going to go in with a red lip liner. I, I don't have an, a red eyeliner so I'm using a lip liner. And I'm going to go in my waterline with that um, just to give the appearance of a droop. And I'm going to go a little bit under my eye with that. Next, I'm going to go in with a uh, red color. Um, and I'm going to go over all of that because um, Dumbledore has more of a red tone to him. Okay, so now I need to tie the beard, put the hat on, glasses, and the wig. I'm going to go do that off camera. I will be right back for the finished look. Alright guys, and here we have it, the finished look of Dumbledore. Um, I did make this hat myself. I also made the glasses tonight, last minute. Um, already had the wig. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, I have been putting Dumbledore off for a long time and I finally just was like, hey, I gotta do it. So uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. Uh, thanks again for watching and we will see you next time. Bye bye.